Hello, everybody. It's Adam Walker, the Talking Brony, back once again with another video. So many of you have seen my channel updates videos stating that I was going to make some pretty cool new content for y'all. And I will be very soon, but first I figured I could bring back some What in the Buck video. You know that one video that I posted I didn't do a pretty good well of a job on. But I think I'm going to do a much better one on this one. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What in the Buck, where I review and react to some crazy pictures that I find on the internet. And this is absolutely, absolutely freaking ridiculous. I, I hope you guys love what I got going on here. Uh, this is, of course, my first video, and there's going to be some hiccups and all that stuff out of the way. So, with all that out of the way, let's get started on our first picture. And first up on the docket is your hard-earned taxpayer dollars at work. Apparently, some government in some country, somewhere on planet Earth, spends your tax dollars on a sign... That's not supposed to be in use somehow, yet it is posted out for everyone to see. Doesn't tell you if you're going the wrong way, doesn't tell you if you're not supposed to enter some facility, doesn't even tell you anything else other than the fact that it's not currently in use. I I'm confused. Why do they print this? Why, does why is this out there? Why does this even exist? If this is my government... Okay, we need to figure something else out, because that's not going to do it. All right, next picture, please. Okay, so the next picture is from a newspaper from some town somewhere in the USA, uh, city of Roxborough. And this has got to be one of the silliest and stupidest news lines I have ever read. I guess it must have been a slow news day or something like that. All right, let's see what it says. Roxborough police are investigating an incident of felony breaking and entering at a residence. The incident took place May 28th at a residence on Birch Avenue. According to the victim, someone broke in, cooked popcorn on a stove, and consumed a soda. No other items were believed to be stolen, and the investigation is continuing. So you mean to tell me you broke into a house... And all you stole was popcorn and a soda. Most houses have flat screen TVs, some sort of expensive electronics, iPhones, iPads, tablets, speakers, medicine, probably even more valuable stuff. But all you took was a popcorn and soda and you just left. You, that's not even a crime. Why, why is the police even investigating this? This isn't even a crime. Well, it's barely a crime. I mean, you did break it into someone else's house, but of all the things you could have easily stole, a popcorn and a soda. That is just amateur at its finest. Man, you ought to be a lot more hardcore than this next picture, which blowed my mind to smithereens. You know what they say in Detroit? They pretty much steal everything, including the kitchen sink, because that's how it is in the D-Town. But apparently these guys took it one step further and completely nicked some dude's front porch. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Someone actually ripped off someone else's front porch. Man, the, the text says it all. You just can't have crap in Detroit without somebody stealing it. Next thing you know, they're going to be going after the front door, the windows, the brick layout. You might as well take the front lawn in the process. Like, what in the world is going on in Detroit where even the porches are being stolen? And this has to be a gang doing it. I just cannot see one person single-handedly dragging an entire front, even if it's just a couple of steps, just the steps leading up to the door. And the f it has to be a gang doing it. They had to do some sort of coordinated effort in a getaway driver. And the person who exited, oh my god, I hope that person's okay, because that's got to be a long-ass fall all the way to the floor with the door being that high. Jesus Christ. What is going, seriously, once again, what is going on in Detroit where you guys are just stealing everything, including the front porch? <laughs> oh my god. Keep amusing me, Internet. 
keep on amusing me. Alright, let's head on over to the next picture. Now, of course, there's plenty of churches that ask you to broaden her horizons. But I have a feeling this one is not following the same message as the other ones. As you can see right here, Houston River Baptist Church. I really hope that's not an H-Town. Anyway, it says, don't be so open-minded, your brains will fall out. Actually, if you're a little more open-minded, you might actually absorb some actual knowledge inside. I have a feeling a bunch of people that are inside this, these walls of this hallowed church have got to be so narrow-minded they can see through a keyhole with both eyes. Oh my goodness, this is just way too funny. Oh my goodness. And that's pretty much the attitude of most Christians, especially the ones deep in the Bible belts. Unlike this next one. See? This church knows what's going on in the world. They know what happens when a child has two parents of the same gender. They're going to turn out just fine. Just like Jesus. That sounds like the kind of church everybody needs to be attending. And it's even wheelchair accessible. Nice humor. Nice friends. Nice times. Come spend your Sunday afternoon hour or Sunday morning hour, depending upon which service you prefer, at St. John's Anglican Church. I don't know exactly where it's at, but I'm pretty sure wherever it's at, it's a fine church. Fine place to learn the Bible, fine place to be a Christian, and all that jazz. So let's go ahead and move on to the next picture. Now, I don't know who this Tom person is, but apparently he can't seem to do his job right to save his life because a, to, it got to the point where somebody had to put up a sign that says, now hiring part-time positions because Tom sucks. Tom, what the hell did you do to warrant this? And I don't know exactly where he works, if it's Bottom Dollar, Family Video, Subway, or whatever that sign the bush is obscuring. But Tom, you clearly suck at your job. Go find another one. And if somebody's looking for employment, why don't you visit that joint and see if they're still hiring. And I, Even if it's just a small, simple cleaning job, I'm pretty sure you're going to do a much better job than whatever the heck Tom was doing that warranted this. Man, some of these people are just petty nowadays. And that's our video for today. Um, I hope you guys like it. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. I will try to make more of these videos as the popularity will be continuing. And I do have some other videos, including the official Season 2 debut of the Press Your Luck videos and all that stuff. And if you want to see some videos that I haven't come up with, Please give me some crazy ideas in the comment section down below. Once again, my name is Adam Walker, the Talking Brony, and I will see you next time.